Hello everyone. Greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Chauhan from Ekalavya Self-Learning Tutorials. Well, today in this tutorial, we'll be seeing that how to get the drawings and the dimensions for the FreeCAD model of the 3D model that you have built in FreeCAD. So for that, we'll be going through an additional workbench named Drawing and Dimensioning. So I'll be sharing the link to this workbench in the description below. So let's start. So you see here we have a part of a drill bracket here. It's a 3D model. So in FreeCAD, there's already a workbench named Drawing, which is used to get the projections or sections, but we can't get the dimensions here. So for that, we need to install this workbench, Drawing and Dimensioning, as I told earlier. So let's begin with that. So the very first thing is we need to just choose the drawing sheet that we need for our projections. So here we are choosing A3 landscape. So here we have our drawing. So now we'll click on this object. So the very first option is to create the ortho views for this our object. Or here's an option for the same insert an orthographic projection. You can click any of them. So we're clicking here. So now this is an option that where do you want the projection for your drawing? So if you see in India, we use basically third angle. Then here's an option from where do you want to view your model? So if you see here in the model, if you see the front view, so this is we are viewing from the Y negative and this is aligned to X positive. So we'll just set the parameters uh, in accordance to that. So we are viewing from y and negative axis and this is line to x positive. So now this is the front view. Okay, so this can be the side view and this is the another side view and this is the bottom view and this is a stop view and this is the isometric projection of our model. So see how easily you have got the projections or drawings for your model without doing uh, cutting any sections or any more complex operations. In another tutorial, I'll be also telling you how to get the sections that are also beneficial in some cases. So here are some other set of operations like how you can just change the scale, vertical tilting, and other some set of operations, but this is sufficient for us. So we'll click okay. Now, if we extend this page in the tree view, we have all these, our projections with their names. So we can, change their scale we can change their coordinates coordinates in the drawing sheet we can change the line width or the hidden line width so what hidden line is basically uh, like there are some lines behind the model which can also be viewable so here's an option to show the hidden lines or not if you just say true and click enter so then you are able to view the hidden lines. If we just set this for all the other projections, like true, so you can view, just see. You are now able to view the hidden lines, which are the lines behind your model. So for the time being, we do not need such lines. They make it confusing for the user. So let's set them to the false only. Click enter. Cause we are interested in only the solid lines. So now, Let's move to the dimensions. So here are some set of tools to create the dimension. Like the first one is add linear dimension. The second is for the add linear dimension stack. It's all the same. Then you have the creates a circular dimension. Then you have the creates a radius dimension. Then you have the angular dimension. Then create the center lines and center lines, etc. And some other operations. So one thing more it's beneficial here, like if you do any changes in your model here, then you're able to get the changes exactly in your drawing by just clicking this option, recompute compute dimensions. So now let's first of all create the linear dimensions for our objects for drawing. So if you click here, you get some operations here, let them be default only. So now you see it has snapped the endpoints in the model. So if you just click like here, then the other endpoints, so you get the dimensions. Like, see, we have got this dimension 15 mm. So, we'll repeat this operation for others also. 
like we know this and this dimension was same so we are skipping some parts here it could otherwise it can be very lengthy so i'm telling you just basic workflow the other things can be done by you too there's nothing complicated in it so you see 88 here so now we can just check the overall length this is the height and we can also just check the length between these two points so here is it now uh, we can do all these things similar for the others uh, other uh, drawings also so now we'll be telling how to create the radius so now you see if you click it will just detect only the arcs or the circular faces here so if you click on this it will just simply tell you that this is the diameter of this particular circle profile so similarly if you click on this arc so this is 40 similarly for this arc this is 5 similarly for this one so you see it's quite simpler then you can create like the center lines for your model like if you just simply click on this arc you can create the center lines which are passing through the arc so we are not interested in this right now then we can just let's create some more linear dimensions like the thickness of this face like 5 mm then what else we can do here is like you see there are a set of dimensions you can create now let's have the distance of this arc from the end this is 20 mm let's have the overall thickness this is 35 so it's quite simple you see to get these dimensions and all those things then you have some other operations here like you can unfold the faces you can just export this file into the dxf format so if you just simply click here on the page and click this option you'll be able to export your file in dxf format so let's export this um, on desktop with the name of sample dxf and just save it so later on you can get all these files in your autocad or you can get in the free cat itself so well that's all for this workbench and this tutorial thanks for watching this was Nirbhai Chauhan for make love via self-learning tutorials goodbye